Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka. hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying a lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to quickly teach you on how to set up email droppers in Vina, which should be really quick, honestly. So what you're going to do, um, you're going to go into your settings here, go to general settings, then you're going to go to miscellaneous, and then you're going to scroll all the way down, and there is an additional settings right here, and this is basically drop Twitch emotes. Make sure that this is enabled, and it should work out for you. If for some reason uh, the emote dropper does not work for you, please restart Vinyan or reinstall it, and if it still does not work for some reason, it's probably because you did not uh, connect the Twitch over here. There's basically the account info here so basically in order to access this little button you have to click on the settings over here and it will show up here so make sure to connect your twitch account and that will allow you to have the emote droppers here and if that still does not work out for you then please contact suvidrail at her discord server which i'll leave the discord server in the description below so you can contact her and report any bugs or any issues basically um now another cool thing I uh, one last thing uh, it's a really cool trick you could do so basically on the node graphs here basically uh, we're gonna add a new graph and let's say for instance we want this to be our default setting um, this is basically what will allow us to change how the emotes fall and all that so we're gonna start off by going to callback nodes we're gonna go into application start and then we're going to go into action nodes here and we're going to scroll all the way down until we see uh, emo dropper, which is right under, um, let me double check, it's under toggles basically. And then um, you can connect these together and then you can set up how many emotes you want or the spawn radius will be like this or size multiplier um, or even gravity multiplier even for, you know, making it slower and all that, and then destroy after milliseconds will be, um, let's say 10, uh, let's say like 10 seconds or a second or whatever time you want, basically. Just put a random millisecond number. This is not seconds, it's milliseconds, keep that in mind. Um, but either way though, pretty much you can mess with this. This could be your default settings, or maybe let's say for a raid, uh, you may want to have it where on a raid, the emotes are a lot more bigger and more massive, but for, um, for a little bit, uh, you know, with a little emotes, uh, you can make them smaller, something like that. So that's the cool thing about the node, uh, for the emo dropper, you can basically do that. But either way, um, that's pretty much it regarding the emote droppers. It's just a little quick tutorial for anyone who's very curious on how to set those up. Uh, but it's really fun. Um, but either way, let me know if you have any other questions regarding Vinyan or if you're confused about something, let me know in the comments below. But I definitely recommend if you want to learn more about Vinyan, please join the Suvidro's Discord server. Pretty much Suvidro's Discord server is basically the Vinyan manual. Um, and it has all the assets there and all the, um, all the... Pretty much all the extra help you need over there. Plus also if you want to request for new features or you want to, um, you know, report a bug, join to the Discord server. But I'll leave my socials here if you want to contact me for any 3D related stuff. And I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!